what do secularism and laicite mean in France? Um, it's something, it's a quite a, a tricky question because there is this historical path that led to the current situation. But historically, secularism is conceived as a tool, um, a, a legal tool, a political tool, a political principle to organize a pacified society. Historically, is that a project after the French Revolution? Then it goes through different steps. Uh, historically, we have, let's say, a first phases, which is the phases through which emerge different actors, mostly Catholics versus uh, the new, the new politicians uh, that, that stem from the uh, French Revolution. And then, in the second phases, you have all these institutional uh, rules and new laws that uh, lead us to the beginning of the 20th century, with the famous, most famous law uh, that is. Um, always wrongly uh, associated with secularism, but which is a law on separation between churches and state. And uh, mostly before, right before in the 80s, end of the 19th century, you have the law on education that makes education mandatory, independent from churches, etc. So secularism is a long, conflicting trajectory uh, that has different states, different phases, and that nowadays is being re-read re uh, through the, let's say, focalization on specific minority rights issue and minority groups, most of them being Muslims. So I would say that secularism is basically, historically, a political principle that organized public life, but it has been transformed into what we call, with colleagues working on that, uh, a narrative, a dominant narrative that is now being produced as a discourse that is uh, supporting, for instance, uh, a discourse on secularism as belonging to national, uh, national values uh, that supported the idea that uh, secularism belongs to the French patrimony, which is, which is of course, uh, in a way right, because it's, it's the, the result of a long historical process, but which is also wrong in, in order that it, it leads to a kind of ideologization, uh, distorted reading of what secularism are to be. Is France simply using the guise of secularism to avoid the cost of becoming a more multicultural society? Uh, this is a good question because I think what's, there are many, many ways to answer to that question which is very complex. Uh, the first thing is to keep in mind that uh, historically secularism was not aiming at integrating a uh, new population coming to France. It is only in the, in, in the years 2005, 2006, after the first health care controversy, that the link between integration and secularism is made explicit. So this is something quite recent. Uh, the second thing that I want to say is that um, throughout Europe, throughout the European Union member states, what we see emerging is a common uh, position towards certain specific religious minorities, in particular Muslims you see similar controversies around different topics emerging all over the, the EU. And independently from the uh, national trajectories, you have multicultural Great Britain being uh, facing riots, facing um, Islamophobia rising. You have, uh, um, let's say, Germany uh, facing also discussion about religious minorities. Here it's circumcision. You have headscarf debates popping up all over Europe, independently from the history of the relationship between what we have called the models of integration, being multicultural, republicanism, or other ones, and the fact that Muslims are being made up as the main public problems in all these countries. And then I think in the specific case of France, um, multiculturalism has never been a policy, never. Uh, we stick to republicanism, we sti stick to the idea that uh, if there is no mediation, no intermediary between the citizen and the state, and religion shouldn't be in the middle of the way. So in the West, secularism is used by a certain part of the political spectrum as a way to put at a certain distance minorities that are indeed coming from abroad, even if they ca came from abroad a long time ago and are now uh, French citizens. Given this historical backdrop and the baggage, as you might say, which bits would you still recommend as either an abstract inspiration or more concrete model uh, for other countries? I think the, the, the problem when you look at secularism in France from abroad is that uh, you see that as something that you imagine being ideal, but when you come into the practice, it's never ideal. So the first thing is that secularism is never a pure abstract form that is implemented in a specific context. It has to be adapted 
to the local situation, to the, to the current moment. It has to adjust to the new legislation. It has to adjust to new political situation. So it is something that has to be porous, that has to be uh, adapted to the local realities. So it's not something that is abstract and that can be implemented as such. It needs adaptation. And it's, it needs also time to, to, to really penetrate the current social tissue, uh, the current social situation. The current so social situation in France is socio-economic backlash, uh, segregated areas, problem of unemployment, and on the top of that, problem that the majority society has with the way specific minorities live. So if you make this constellation uh, work together, secularism may for certain people appear as the magic solution. If we stick to an abstract secularism that is the way the French Revolution imagined it, we're going to solve everything. But it's not the way it works. It's not the way it works for a simple reason. That is, secularism, as it was thought to be working in the end of the 18th century, cannot be transferred as it is on the current situation. Populations have changed, context has changed, the, the relationship between individuals and religion has changed, the relationship between state and churches has changed. So many elements have, are, are currently nurturing this kind of, uh, what, what I call the drama of secularism in France. I always say that while it used to be maybe in the 50s something that, and even in the 50s, I may be a bit wrong, I would say in the 30s, uh, it was maybe perceived from abroad as something ideal to stick to and to aspire to. Now it's, it's becoming the Antichrist in the European Union because we notice that even in France where rules seem, seem, to, be, seem to, be, to be quite clear for everyone, there is always an issue that is coming up. And it's, it's like a never-ending story. What's next? What's coming next? We had the headscarf. We had the, the full, full veil, the, the niqab, what will be next? I don't know, but there will sh for sure be a next story. <laughs>